besties how y'all feeling y'all feeling good i hope all is well in your world welcome to another video with your girl in today's video you're gonna get cleaning a small haul and some straight foolishness if you are new thank you for clicking on this video my name is bethany and over here we do all things cooking cleaning organizing and more i seek to encourage and uplift and support one video at a time if you need motivation, seeking entertainment, or looking for a friend, then stop. Hit that subscribe and become a part of the Bestie crew. I would love to have you. To all my besties, thank you. Love you. You are all the best. I appreciate each and every one of you. Now, you know what it is. You know what we do. Let's get it. So these containers I got from Walmart. Um, I'm showing you little uh, clips of what it was in the container and what it was used for. I did not use them for that purpose. I liked them because I could get that many in the container in the box itself. But I used them for totally different purposes. I did not use those in my laundry room. I didn't have a laundry room to use them in. But they worked very well in my kitchen. finally found the, the honey spoons I got them at TJ Maxx they had a whole shelf full of them so I grabbed four because I wasn't sure if everybody was gonna like them or not but I finally found them I'm so happy about it and I can't wait to use them Now here is my makeshift trash can for my Nespresso pods because you know you recycle them and send them back so that's what I turned that into and the tools the Ray Dunn tools alt thing I turned into a little mini trash can for my Keurig pods. Now I'm going to insert a clip of the floating shelf that I did. I don't know what happened. Some of my footage got erased and it was a mess trying to find it to get it back and I couldn't. But I'm going to link her channel down below. It's do it on a dime. And she shows you how to create a floating shelf to put onto a wire rack. Usually people put them in their pantries. But since I wanted to keep this metal container, I mean this metal shelf, 
I figured out I'd do it that way and I could make it work because trying to find like a console table or something tall enough to accommodate and that wasn't expensive was really hard to find so I'm sticking with my wire shelf I just made it work I don't need you, you, I don't need you. Now here's some of the stuff that I got. I went all over the place. I went to Walmart, TJ Maxx, um, Hobby Lobby, Home Goods. I went everywhere. But again, I lost the footage of the haul itself. So I could not show you that. I also could not show you all of the cleaning that I did. Every, all of the organization and restocking. It all got lost. So here's just a little snippet of what I had and the things that I did buy and um, you'll see it in the video and throughout the video all the different stuff because if you've been rocking with me for a minute you know that my kitchen changes regularly. Releasing inhibitions I don't need you To come crawling back to me To tell me that you're sorry I'm better now I'm happy I don't need you Cause you've been blocking me And you've held me back from day one Always kept me down So I couldn't fly on my own Used to think that being single Was being alone Oh, you're not saying this Say hello, hello. <laughs> Say hello <laughs> Oh, yeah, in picture right now. I'm in frame now, Tony. You happy? Please wait, don't. We've got the camera. We've got those super mom out here waiting in these streets with these kids. I love my siblings. What kid? Taking them I to ain't school. no kid. I'm a I'm a fully grown adult. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm sorry. Well, if you're an adult, then you should be in the video. Uh, okay, yeah, fair point. Up. Hi, guys, it's me. Bonafide, it's bonafide boy. adult me. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> totally legitimate adult. It's your boy. <laughs> it's your boy, not actually a boy. Chef Kenshin. Hey, 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 that's copyrighted. <laughs> you need to know that. going to come after you. Poop oh. your boy. Chef Jada in the building. What are you talking about? Playboy, playboy, yeah. <laughs> let's sing some karaoke. It's, it's Mr. Cool Studio enough. Girl back there. That that one right there. <laughs> Mr. Studio Girl, right yeah. next to me. Hi guys. He don't pull no game. The doors are open. He don't like those lames. Uh, the doors are open. Cool. Yeah. Okay, time we don't to me. Me. I'm being kidnapped. Uh. Here is my rant for today. Why is it so difficult that if I, as a parent, make sure that my child gets to school on a regular basis, you could not reimburse the sister for her gas? The last time I checked, my car didn't run on air, and the daggone sure don't run on electricity where I can just plug it in to the house. I mean, if I could plug my car into the house, that'd be wonderful, but I can't. A girl can't even afford an electric car. And actually, I don't even want one. Because last time I checked, they blow up whenever they feel like it. So, yeah, no, I don't want one. So, why is it that school districts just don't say, hey, let's take care of our parents? They're working real hard. We're all been hit by COVID. Corona has taken over everybody's life. It is what it is. So, we got to do what we got to do. We all became school teachers. We dealt with our kids at home. God bless the teachers who actually care. I so don't want your job because I ain't got that kind of patience. But I know at the end of the day, my kids need to go to the schoolhouse to learn something. And in order for them to get there, I have to take them because my bus company just doesn't bother with transportation. Because you know, folks done quit. COVID's too hard. I can't, I can't drive this bus no more. I don't want to drive this bus. So, you know, I'm just saying. I need 
need some gas money. Taking kids back and forth to school is expensive. As well as the myriad of other things that I must do with my life. Well, that's my rant for today. Check it out later. So this pink dress is my house dress. I wear it in the house. And I wear it if I'm dropping the kids off or dropping hubby off at school and I don't have to get out of the car. It is a house dress. So you will see it frequently. Hello besties. Hi. Woo. So I got a little bit of a haul. Just a little bit. Not a lot of stuff. i to show you what I got. Now I went to Walmart twice <laughs> and Hobby Lobby and Family Dollar and that's it so here we go picked up some baking soda because I was all out of baking soda picked up some vinegar because was all out of that but I need that to do my sink got the bolt mix for the kiddos and my husband some little bites chocolate chip muffins I went back to Wally Mart I don't really like Walmart but I don't have a choice and I got this this is an eight piece multi-purpose kit it has two large bins and then two large insert bins, two medium insert bins, and two small insert bins from the home edit line. I actually like it because they're they're just good old plain clear acrylic bins. You know, made very sturdy. So I got some of those. I picked up another one of these cereal dispensers. But you can't go wrong with cereal. I picked up, of course, some snack cakes. We got Swiss rolls, cosmic brownies, the unicorn strawberry, what up, what not, baby bunt cinnamon swirl. I found these. They're Hershey's cookies and cream with chocolate on the inside. Mmm. Fair the kids might like that too. And of course, the lemon drizzle baby bunts. And. I don't know what was wrong with the cereal, but it was in the clearance section. So, I picked up some Oreos from Hobby Lobby. I picked this up. Isn't this just the cutest little thing? I'm going to put this by my sink to hold my soap and laundry. I mean, not laundry. What is that stuff called? You know, the stuff you wash dishes with. Dishwasher liquid. That. Then I got some Nesquik. Kool-Aid Jammers. I picked up two things of Lysol wipes. Because you can't go wrong, gotta kill them germs. My Pine Sol, this is generic, so it's pine scented. A refill of hand soap. A thing of trash bags for upstairs. And I picked up a six quart programmable low, slow cooker. From Pioneer Woman. It's, it's cute. But it's big enough and it fit the job. And I didn't want just a black slow cooker. You know. I'm getting tired of the black thing. Even though my kitchen is black. Go figure. Anyway. I also picked up this. It is supposed to be a de decoration cube but I'm actually going to repurpose this for a larger trash can because I didn't want to buy a full size kitchen trash can to put into the bathroom but you know those small trash cans they give you they just don't hold enough got too many butts in the bathroom so I need something a little bit bigger so we're going to use that and I also picked up this because it's just easier for me to write, write things in a notebook. And I picked up a cube of Pepsi and a cube of Mountain Dew. So that's it for my little itty bitty haul. And now we're going to clean up and put it away. And I'm going to unbox this bad boy for you. And show you what it looks like and I'll let you know how well it works because I will use it eventually and also I don't know I messed up and I killed uh, I 
erased a lot of footage that I had. I also purchased the air fryer from her line. It was on sale at Walmart for $75 and I used it already. It was super easy to use, super easy to clean. It's quite big on the inside. I actually like it and you know it adds a little color to my my kitchen but I like the fact that you don't you know everything is nice it's easy it's all right there the time if you want to change the time the degrees the buttons go up and down you push the play button and that's how you know to start it or you can pause it I love that feature because it's like you never it's like okay instead of just pulling it out you just pause it and it will stop <laughs> And of course it has all the regular buttons on it and it has a big button. So I really like this. And it works really well. So that's what we got there. One of these days I'll get another microwave, but I don't know when. So but yep, that's what happened. Also I got some changes in the kitchen. So let's put this stuff away. Because I'm like, why does it smell like food? It shouldn't smell like food, and it should be taped, you know. Okay. And I look at the lid, and there's like a stain in the lid. Oh, that's cool. And then I look at closer, further at the outside of the crock pot, and there's poop stains. Really? Yeah. So somebody used it, cleaned it, and put it back in the box, and no. took it back to Walmart. That is Oh, I'm recording now. And look, you can see it right there. I don't know if they can see it on the camera, but that's used. There's food. I don't know if the camera can even pick it up. But it's food residue. Ooh. It's food residue from somebody using it. Well, I see it. That's disgusting. It's right there too. That's disgusting. But this box, because um, I filmed myself doing it, I opened it with mm -hmm. my scissors. So whoever, look at that. Whoever bought it, used it, packaged it back up, <coughs> and took it back to the store. Uh -huh. So now I got to go to Walmart. Did they have any more? Yeah, but I got to go all the way to Century 3. No, I know, I know, I know. All right, everybody. Take two. This is... Um, oh, this is the Drew Barrymore line. Oh, beautiful. I couldn't get the crock pot originally that I bought because that was the last one. I 
I'm about sick of these people. I'm done with Walmart. Well, let's see what this one does. Look at that. It's wrapped in the packaging. See? So we know it's brand new. Make something beautiful. Oh, not nice. Instruction booklet. In English and in Spanish. Wow, this is huge. Now this comes with the little tongue holder. I mean, the lid holder. This is a lid holder. This is cute. You know, see that? That's the B. I like the fact that it's a little more uh, ergonomic, if that's what you want to call it. I know it's easy to pick up. It does give you a way to tie up your cord. So I guess for easy storage. You can just wrap it up. Plastic. It's basic crock pot though. It don't have all the bells and whistles and doohickeys on it. It's just warm, high, low, and then off. That's it. But the piece, this piece here, just attaches right here. Then you take it. And you set it on there. That way, all your water drips back into the pan. That's the one nice thing that I do like about this. I've never used it, but it can't be any different than any other kind of crock pot, slow cooker, whatever you want to call it. I call it a crock pot. But it has the simple settings it's low and high and warm. That's it. <laughs> So, that is part two of my slow cooker adventure. Let's put it away. Now here I am unboxing the stereo that you saw many 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 times. We finally shipped it off and they sent it back to us and it was fixed. So I was putting it up in our room testing it out to see if they really did fix it. Because it only took them a day to do it. But it took me forever to get it to them. I'm telling you. If it's not one thing it's another. I'm telling you. Come a little bit closer. Yeah, yeah. Come a little bit closer. Yeah. So all my ladies who got a brother that doesn't treat Now these photos here after the bed are photos of things that I had already cleaned. I put a shelf up there. I moved all my husband's books. Like I say, a lot of my footage got lost. So y'all didn't get to see none of the deep cleaning that I did in this room. So I'm just showing you the after of it. That's the bookshelf. I put my figures up. Let me know down in the comments below if any of you guys do anything dealing with anime or if you like comics or good horror movies or anything along those lines because me and my husband are collectors of things. 
I more so collect the Harley Quinn and Joker and certain video game characters. My husband likes all of that stuff. He's avid reader and so on and so forth. So let me know down in the comments if that's anything that you guys like to do. Now, y'all all know, I don't really care for the toilet cleaning in other people's videos, so you won't see it in mine. When you see a toilet cleaning in my video, that is your once a year see that I do clean my toilets, but I don't like to watch it, so I'm not going to make other people watch it. So, just know my toilet did get cleaned, I just did not film it. Everything else got filmed, just not the toilet. We've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me But when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be When there's a problem, you become like a wall And every time I trip, it's a free fall Why don't you help me the way I help you? You don't have to save me, just be my parachute When I'm feeling down, you're just not there Making sure I'm okay, why don't you help me? You all know how much I love my Cricut, so here I am making the labels for those red and white containers that you saw that I had in the kitchen. One for dishes, one for soap. I spent $2 on those containers, and most people spent, what, $5, $10 to buy something like that, and it only cost me 2 bucks to make it. So, here it is. So cute, isn't it? I mean, I'm just saying. Here is how I separate large things of toilet paper that don't come individually wrapped or like how they come at um, Sam's Club. Just split it in half and get it separated and there you go. Because I have two bathrooms so I have to split between the two bathrooms the toilet paper. And this is the easiest way to do it. Since you all have made it this far into the video, thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I'm going to just stop talking after this and again. If you are new and you liked what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Comment down below. Let me know who you are. Introduce yourself for all my returning besties. Thank you for sticking and staying with your girl. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. There's just no words to explain how much I appreciate y'all. Thank you to all my new subscribers that have just joined the Bestie Crew. Thank you. And I will not disappoint you. And trust, we got a whole lot more coming up. We got some more makeovers, some more DIYs, and everything else. And you know, one of my videos wouldn't be complete if I didn't bust them suds and get that kitchen cleaned. All right, I'm going to check y'all in the next one. So if you like